Hey guys, Dalton and I are back and uh, we are here to show you this beautiful, breathtaking 1967 Camaro Rally Sport. This is definitely the nicest Camaro from top to bottom that we have ever had here at Coyote Classics. I might even go a step further on that. Um, in my short 19 years on this earth, I've never seen a, a nicer car or a more beautiful car. Um, and it's got a cool story behind it too. What is the story, D? So, a gentleman that had uh, quite a bit of money uh, bought this car back in 2010 at Barrett Jackson. Um, and he paid, uh, paid a good amount of money for it. Um, it was, it had it very well restored back to original. It was red, black vinyl top. Uh, and he bought it, and his wife absolutely loved this color. And standing here looking at it, I can tell you why. It's absolutely gorgeous. So he spent another $25,000 on the car after he bought it at Barrett Jackson. Had it painted, um, and had a bunch of, had the motor the, transmission overhaul. The metal on this car is absolutely fantastic. I never do this, guys, but I'm gonna go ahead and, just because we always have our undercarriage photos anyway, but check out the undercarriage on this car. I know it's kind of tough to see with the video camera, but the metal on the bottom side of this car is absolutely fantastic. One of the nicest cars underneath that I have ever had here. I mean, in the paint, if, if I were ever to use the word perfect on a classic car, I think it'd probably be this one. Um, yeah, nothing perfect. This is as close as you can find. This has a ghost stripe, the correct RS stripe, but it's done in just a little different color lavender is all. Yeah. So this is a beautiful dark blue metallic with like a violet metallic in with it. As you walk around, like we notice when you open up the door jams, sometimes it has a purple hue to it, sometimes it has the dark blue. It reminds me of kind of like an international blue, but with a little more violet. Yeah, it, it's a fantastic looking car. So if you go to our website, guys, coyoteclassics.com, you've got to look at the trunk floor pictures, the undercarriage photos, and the uh, you'll also see a list of everything that was done on this car. Um, the other thing is it's got a off the fender tag. This was an original um, purple style car at all. Really? This is the original, not the original color, Royal but it, it was the original Royal Plum color on this car. Yep. I um, mean, this car is just loaded with crazy options. Uh, one, the real RS, power steering, power brakes, air, um, deluxe interior. Does have the deluxe interior. It's got the full down rear seat, guys. Um, it's got four wheel disc brakes on it now, which is awesome. But it came from the factory with the front disc yep. brake. Just the front disc on there for the factory. It's got the two speed power glide, 327, 275 horsepower, the original numbers matching, rebuilt engine, rebuilt transmission. Guys, everything on this freaking car seems like it's brand new. Bottom side of the hood. It's just this painted professionally under here with the correct matting and the mats is so nice and tight in there um, Inside the trunk. It's just speckled beautifully It's really really nice and I guys. wish we could have got the video when the Sun wasn't hiding behind the clouds because the amount of metallic in this is just Oh my god Resting. You see the kind of quality of the restoration as we go here to the inner fenders uh, and It does have AC and it has been converted over it does flow cold okay. As we go here and look at the gap, I and mean, you can't get a, a hood gap to meet the fender any better than this one from front to back, guys. It's fantastic. If we could put a level on that, it'd be perfect. Yeah, you definitely could. It is super nice, guys. Front to back, excellent. Um, I love the ghost stripe. Dolly, want to go ahead and turn the hideaway headlights on, bud? Turn the headlights on. It's got the uh, nice front spoiler, the RS. Headlights open and close beautifully. Let's go ahead and shut up. That's just what we want, guys. If you buy this car, ice cold air conditioning, full down rear seat, fantastic car, uh, chrome torque thrust wheels, like new BFG raised white letter tires, laser straight, gorgeous paint. And he had, and the other cool thing about this car, it was sold back in 2010 at Barrett Jackson as an original, was it 50, can't remember exactly, about 56,000 oh, yeah. miles. Oh my gosh, yes. And it only, since he bought it, he only put about 2,000 miles on it. I don't it. think it was that, I think it was like 50 miles. I think it was 50 miles, so something like that. Go to our website, check out the mileage thing, but in the last 10 years, guys, this car was completely restored. The previous owner of this car had a huge Z28 Camaro collection, just a ton of nice, 
high-end quality cars. So this car was completely done and I don't think it was ever drove. Maybe 50, 60 miles as far as what I can, uh, are you gonna look? Colin's gonna check on the mileage, guys. Um, as far as the bottom of the door, the bottom of the quarter, the way the quarter lines up to the doors, the car is just phenomenal. Also, it comes with $25,000 worth of receipts that he put into okay. it after he bought it. So, yeah. So, since 2010, after he bought it, uh, $25,000 was spent on the restoration, and those receipts do come with it. The roof is perfectly straight. This is done very nicely. You got to see this car in person, guys. You got to see the color in person. You just have to. 56 miles. Okay, so, so since 2010, this car has 56 miles on its restoration. Yeah, and $25,000 put into it. Seven, seven, eight of the miles were from us. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Um, look at that dual exhaust. Beautiful new dual exhaust. Comes out right where it should. Check out, check out this. We had it up in the lift too. We talk about metalwork. We even look how they just. So many times these don't, for one, they a lot of times they don't even line up these back balances. And then just the way it lines up and tucks in, I mean, it's just absurd. <laughs> the restoration cost on this was phenomenal. Um, as far as uh, we do have, oh, I did find a little tiny little chip over the years that's been touched up right here in the trunk lid. And even as we move around the car, it goes from that purple hue to the dark blue. Trunk lid lines up beautifully, both sides. I mean, I don't think you're gonna get this car to line up any better. Go ahead and grab the keys, Abby. I just gotta show them inside the trunk. Um, as we open up the doors, check out that restoration quality, guys. It's absolutely fantastic. inside the jam. I mean, this car must have been painted on a rotisserie because every little ounce of paint on this thing is just meticulously done. Wow. Yeah. You can go ahead and start it back up. All right, as we go in here, you have the uh, Firestone spare on it. Okay, buy supply spare. But here's what I'm talking about. So we painted the inside here. When they put the new quarters on, that has that is still all the GM, all the uh, original black. Look how they speckled it. it. I mean, they taped everything off, did that correct speckling right up to the pinch welds, not getting any splatter on the quarters. Isn't that awesome? I mean, I mean look just, at the quality of it. It's just ridiculous. They even left this per the blue here. Looks like they just did it with like a paintbrush on the. You know what I mean? Look at the inside of the tail lights, stuff like that. They're all brand new. The wiring looks brand new. I mean, there's, there's your sound dead there. Find fault in with this car. I, I don't know where you could. Inside the trunk lid area is mint. And even in here is mint. I mean, there's no dirt. There's no dust. The shop that painted this was just fantastic. They deserve a Nobel Peace Prize or something. All right, as we go in here, we already went through the door jams. As far as the top of the, uh, even to the top of, you know, the glass was all out. Look at all this. All this chrome is all new here. As we go to the top of the dash pad, it's perfect. It does have an aftermarket uh, steering wheel in it. Gas gauge works. It's got 57,668 believed to be actual miles according to the previous owner. Factory clock. Now this is the original clock. If you ordered a bench seat, in 1967 and a clock this is what you got you got the clock on the floor really yep temp gauge oil pressure carries about 45 pounds so it's all warmed up it's warmed up to about 150 um, does have the am fm uh, stereo and something cool too is a lot of times people put these retro stereos in and they come with the cords for your aux and for your usb and 100 percent of the time they're just kind of dangling there or they did that super kinda, professionally didn't yeah they? on it um, 
air conditioning guys we'll go ahead and we'll leave that on here but that blows cold we'll let it run uh, it's got the GM seat belts in the front um, I don't see any seat belts in the rear but the interior is all completely restored as well phenomenal visors headliner rear uh, sail panel lights work there's no wrinkles in any of that it does have the fold down rear seat which is an awesome option just a super neat option don't ask me how to use the fold down rear seat right now but the businessman's so he can throw all his bags and briefcases and whatnot sweet look at the door panels and the paint on the top of here ashtrays are all new i mean there's just nothing that was skimped on this restoration whatsoever and listen to an idle too i mean it's so that's what the air go so, yeah you know, it's like a, a swiss watch yeah doors shut perfect there can't be any disappointments in this car doll if anyone buys it except for maybe this tiny little rock chip right here yeah she does have <laughs> that that's all we've seen so far <clears throat> look at the body the straightness it's absolutely laser straight the door fits perfectly like I said the body shop that did this car if you get a chance to watch this video man you guys did an awesome job we we're just talking this car reminds us so much of that beautiful yellow 72 344 speed Cuda that we just had and sold that car was phenomenal as well Out that door gap. Chrome lights up great. Front gap is perfect. Man, I think the guy did quite a bit of metal work on this, and if he did, I mean, how did you get everything to I have, line up so perfectly straight on it? I have no clue. I bet it's straighter than I left the factory. Oh, definitely. Definitely a lot nicer <laughs> than I left the factory. Um, even here guys, top of the fender to the top of the cowl, back edge here, I mean, both sides is fantastic, windshield's been replaced. Um, here's another thing Dalton, you probably don't ever see this, but so many restorations, they never repaint and get the surface rust and stuff like that out of here, but this obviously was painted beautifully too on the top yeah. of the dash. Um, mirror's nice and tight. Look at that, I mean this is just me shutting it here. No force at all. Um, handles are new, rubbers are new. Deluxe interior, deluxe door panels. And those are cool. I don't think I've really ever seen, you can see them with this deluxe interior with the yeah. door panels inside that. Most people don't get the deluxe interior. Deluxe interior would have came with the white on it and these door panels. And the door panels to even get them replaced are super expensive. Very cool. Um, when they painted the dash, check out the high quality of black gloss paint on the dash, on the gauge clustering area, and the steering column. I know, guys, it is a bench seat car. It is a column shift car. But who the hell cares when you have all these options with an RS? This is exactly how it came from the factory. Deluxe interior, beautiful paint. Don't let the bench seat column shift. And I it, think, if anything, that makes the car better because how many RS's were ordered with seat column shift? Not many. Not many. Alright. Put the air conditioning, guys, and everything works. Wow. This is like, this car, you kind of have to take your hat off when you get inside it. It's kind of like going to church. You take your hat off when you get inside. <laughs> Out of respect for it, huh? <laughs> Cool exhaust sounds good, it's not obnoxious, but it sounds nice. Wipers work good, we'll go ahead and shut that off. Pass it over to Dalt and see how she drives. Okay, go ahead. Idles down really nice. Again, that tranny's been done. Four wheel disc brakes. Were they power? I think so. Okay. Yes, they were, yep. Okay. I mean, this car is, I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say about it anymore. I mean, there's... Oh, it's also got speed alert. We did not mention that. <laughs> That's rare, have, too. Yeah, it does have speed alert on it. Gas gauge works, speedometer works, everything works. Wow, I mean, it's just... It's almost 
so nice, I don't even want to even get on it at all. I know, I know. Out of respect for it. I know. And I'm not gonna, I don't think. We're just gonna cruise with her. Our four wheel disc brakes are absolutely perfect. Um, we do have just a little bit, we'll have to check it, but just a little bit. A tire rub. Must be when you're in there, D. Oh boy. I didn't notice I need to eat more outside. salads. <laughs> oh god. I already eat some more salads than riding a Camaro. As far as now we got 327, 275 horse, power glide, and this thing just freaking flies down the road. There's your shift, it didn't miss a beat. 80 mile an hour just like that. Yeah. More salads. More salads. Less for steak. <laughs> so we have just a little bit of a, a rub on the tire on the uh, uh, wheel well molding. So we're gonna have to get that checked out or But if you it, got a smaller wife, you might be alright. Yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> but anyway guys, I mean this is just a um, a privilege to be able to show you this car. I mean yeah. it's it's not very often that uh, you get to see something quite like this. Here's our Dalton's just gonna go ahead and show us here. The steering wheel is gorgeous on it too. I know it's not original like the rest of the car, but it's beautiful. But going down the road, the alignment is perfect, the steering is perfectly straight. Kick down works, just yep. shifted it right down to the first going 65 mile an hour. Launches us right to 75, just like that. Fantastic. So, Fantastic. Power glide, no problem. We're not, you know, 60, 70 mile an hour down the road. Our gears are really nice in it, they're not loud at all. It goes really nice down the road, guys. It's perfect. I mean, there's no reason not to buy this car. I mean, it's just utterly, ridiculously nice. Yep. All right, check out the undercarriage, too, because that'll blow you away. Uh, CoyoteClassics.com. Uh, check her out.